Hello, it is the somewhat beginning of a new podcast that I'm doing. But I am starting this with my bestie, Nar, because <laughs> what is content creation if not a very curated portion of one's life and ideas? And I want to curate some of the random bullshit that happens between <laughs> us. Go ahead, hit him with some of that old razzle-dazzle, Nerys. Hippos aren't fat. Razzle dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you uh, why don't you start us off? What what's with uh, Dave Chappelle? You said he was like being searched a lot. Why why is everyone searching for him? Uh, I think it was because it's from what I've seen. It looks like some dude fucking attacked him on stage. <laughs> Oh shit, really? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, some dude like got up on stage and fucking fucking tackle just jumped his ass basically while he was at it was like Hollywood Bowl or some shit. Oh, there's an actual video. History. History. Dave Chappelle oh, shit, attacked boy. on stage Tuesday night. History. History. God damn. Dave That was hard oh, as yeah. shit. You could hear that. Oh yeah, like just oh, the sound of, of all of the excess air just being forced out of his fucking body. Shit, dude. I'm sure that guy got an ass beating after. Oh yeah, I, I fucking hope so. <laughs> oh, same. Chris, like Chris, Chris Rock made a good joke about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Will I be able to uh, find that video too, or do you just want to tell me? I think it was. I think I found it in um. I think I found it when I was reading a thing, but it was just really funny because it was. After all that happened, he was just like, is that Will Smith? <laughs> <laughs> For real, though, like, the one thing that I will always, the one takeaway that I really got from Will Smith smacking Chris, uh, Chris Rock? Yeah. Chris Rock, yeah, from Will Chris Smith, <laughs> from smacking Chris Hemsworth, is how much of a goddamn, like, sport chris rock was like he straight up was just wow will smith smacked the shit out of me and that's it man he still had a big ass smile on his face <laughs> right or at least it looked like he had a smile on his face anyway like that's the power of paid acting man <laughs> fucking god the fucking the, the, mm, struggle for your art there we go the struggle for the duggle yes the bleeding for the paper making <laughs> ah yes the coming for the Jesus. <laughs> it's like I come for, I only come for Jesus. I actually only come to uh black and white photos of Karl Marx. What? Well, it's Why black true. and white. Well, hold on. Have you seen Karl Marx? No, I have not. Not in black and white anyway. Oh, Look that guy. That. Never mind. Look at that. <laughs> he's like a he's 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 like a like a communist Santa, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. For some reason, I don't know why, I did not think his name was Carl. I mean, he do he does not really look like Carl, though. You know, like at least in American culture, because we're both <laughs> Americans. He kind of... Yeah, we call him Carl. He kind of looks like a Bernard. Yeah, a little bit. Like one of those, one of those names you'd give like a... One of those names that, like, people, like, how there's a specific set of names that people would give, like, large, fluffy dogs kind of thing. <laughs> uh, this is Palokovic. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, come, come, Palokovic. Sit. <laughs> no, Palokovic, no. Pee on the floor. No piss. No, outside. We'll get. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Bad even. Puppy. It's not even Russian. <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh i don't i don't even think i can do a good russian accent total honesty it's a you know, just, <laughs> and we'll just look at just what you call me <laughs> uh, 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 anushkit. Anushkit. Anushkit? Anu anushkit? An anushkit. <laughs> you know like a like you call me any, fat? Anyway, so about the, <laughs> uh, so about Dave Chappelle. Honestly, no. like I hold up. Let me go back to that video. I actually want to. 
Okay, here's more. Suspect, identified as 23-year-old Isaiah Lee, jumped on stage armed with a handgun replica. The suspect oh, was detained and booked on $30,000 bail. That's not surprising. Like, holy shit, huh? After the incident, fans oh, caught so this down. video of the suspect on a stretcher outside of the venue. Pretty good. I mean, oh, oh, oh. An eyewitness tells E.T. Jesus that Chappelle Christ. did a good job at dodging the actual tackle. Adding that before anyone could understand what was happening, security was able to remove the suspect yeah, are, from the stage. Quote, ass. there were a few moments oh, where the yeah. audience were confused oh. what was going to happen afterwards. Well, that's when the comedian's good friend yeah, Chris <laughs> Rock, who performed at the festival before Chappelle, returned to the stage to make a joke, naturally asking, Was that Will Smith? <laughs> Uh, of course, God, that man. was a reference to when Smith slapped Rock. Everybody compose yourselves. <laughs> I wanted this to be a peaceful moment, and I'm sure now it is. The funny man even gave props to his friend, Jamie Foxx, who he said was right by his side, ready to defend him. Shout out to Jamie Foxx, by the way. Like, I... I, I guess I can understand wanting to, like, you know, want some someone out there probably 100% wants to hit Dave Chappelle because he's made, like, a bunch of jokes about LGBT plus and all that. But, like, goddamn, was it really worth it? You got your arm fucked up. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't personally, I don't think it's ever really worth it, especially, like, you know, like a person on stage where, you know, security is usually going to be at its highest point. Yeah. As well as a bunch of people in stage that are probably, that are still his fans that will also probably love to kick your ass. Yeah. And like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm just saying in today, in 2022, the year of our Lord, it's so much easier just to leave an angry tweet or like an angry at, like everyone will see it. It accomplishes the same thing. Yeah, and on Twitter, you have a severely less chance of getting your ass beat. Everyone's just going to call you various things on a social media page, which you can very easily turn notifications off of. You have you have significantly <laughs> less chance of getting your ass beat, but on Twitter, it's never zero. What? It's never it's zero. Not... Ah, yes, I see. <laughs> Just so, and hey, are you such and such on Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that was part of Elon Musk's new uh, campaign for his new Twitter. Every post he doesn't like, he's going to dox you and come to your house and spit on you. <laughs> and then fuck your wife and piss on your face, shouting trickle-down economics. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be so just concerning. Suddenly, Elon Musk just had the door and just like... <laughs> right like out of you know the the sad thing is he would still probably be insanely boring doing that like spitting in your face and then fucking your wife he would still have all of the presence of a squash <laughs> fuck it, just just a, just a very phallic shaped gourd that's it <laughs> yeah exactly i mean that's that's the perfect thing that i can think of to uh to describe him as actually no i don't remember i think it was azalea banks or someone called him apartheid clyde and that is the funniest <laughs> shit to me <laughs> god damn all right <laughs> i i shit you not that was that was beautiful the fuck does his face even look like it's been so long since i've even seen anything involving his face uh i think i've only actually seen a picture of him like once like a like a muskrat Kind of, yeah, he kind of looks like a muskrat, total honesty. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, oh god, especially, like, these pictures, that is prime <laughs> muskrat face. <laughs> like, nye, nye. you can't do that. Does anyone, does anyone still think that he's a modern day Iron Man? Because, like, Jesus Christ, this dude is just a, he's just awful. 
Yeah, I don't know. I've been hearing, I've been kind of hearing like a 50 50 split on people liking Elon Musk and people just shitting on Elon Musk. So I'm not actually, I'm not 100% sure myself to like total honesty. Yeah, that's, that's fair. All I know is this man has a lot of fucking money. That's about it. (laughs) Yeah, he does. I want some of that Musk Bezos money. You know what I mean? Is that a zebra striped car over there on the left? Or is that just lighting? I oh, think that's lighting. Okay, that's just lighting. Okay. I was going to say, like, that's probably not bad, but what the fuck? That'd be pretty sick, though. Oh, what if you got the Doppler effect as a paint job on your car? That actually would be pretty fucking cool, I'm not going to lie. Do you think it would make it go slower and then faster? <laughs> oh, my God. And slower Dude, again? Make... Oh, my God. <laughs> Could you imagine fucking someone's like, I was like, oh, I really need to cross the street. That car's got a weird paint job. Ah, I can make it. Wham! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd, be, that'd be awful. Wait, hold on. No, they should make, like, a temporary tattoo of a Doppler effect, but for, like, your, like your junk. Huh. That would be... Hmm. <laughs> Probably adds a lot of girth to the middle. Yeah, it'll be like those. It'll be like taking like it'll be like taking one of those funky camera shot angles, like when you oh god, like when you use the wide angle. How like at a certain point, it just looks like it's longer and stretched out. Ah, yes, the uh, the classic uh, dong picture underneath <laughs> from underneath, no face, fully erect, wide angle fisheye lens. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, perfection. <laughs> I'm really sorry for what I'm about to do. Oh my god. <laughs> huh, surpri- oh wait, safe search, that's right. Oh, uh, what the fuck kind of camera lens was that? Oh. Huh, surprisingly small amount of digs, but there's that, ba- there's the banana one then. <laughs> where's the, where's the banana, this one? On the, the top, no, the top left, like the very first picture. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, see, that's a, that's a great example right there. That's how you step up your dick pic game. Beautiful. My god. <laughs> the video of the person underneath it is not helping. <laughs> <laughs> well, he cockfishing. Like, <laughs> it's called cockfishing. <laughs> god. Uh, oh my great. god. You know, I wonder if that um I wonder if cockfishing also uh counts as like when people do really bad photoshops where they just like cut out the middle like the mid range of their of their penis and then they just kind of like stack it in photoshop you know what i mean <laughs> oh. oh my god i hate i hate that so much <laughs> yeah they look bad too like i don't know who they're trying to fool fool like you know the veins are going all over the place it doesn't even look like they connect yeah, like you gotta, you if you're gonna, you gotta at least, you gotta at least do something. You gotta at least like just make it one long vein, you know, copy paste, cut, no, cut and paste. There we go. Yeah, like you know, there's, there's many ways that you can step up your game. I mean, for God's <clears throat> sakes, just go practice a little bit on a banana before you whip out your dick and start taking pictures. Yeah, exactly. Because you know, it's not, it's not like it's gay or anything. It's not, it's so, it's not your friend's penis. It's just a fruit. Uh, go go practice on your homie. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like, hey, bro, can I? It's like, hey, bro, can I take pictures of your dick? I need to practice for mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, can I practice on your dick? <laughs> it's just uh, like, oh well, fuck, what? <laughs> what? I'll buy you Taco Bell after, man. Uh, yeah, I don't. It's like fucking. I don't know. If, I don't think Taco Bell would be worth it. <laughs> uh, no, no, okay. I. Like I'm I'm sorry, there's only two people that can say, let me practice on your dick to me and <laughs> still be my friend. And that's Lizzie <laughs> and Jesus. Oh uh, Jesus just oh, if G- hmm. God, the honor of be- the honor of being Jesus' practice dick. <laughs> right? Like I'm <laughs> be the greatest honor to be jesus's cock sleeve uh fuck (laughs) 
Someone, <laughs> someone somewhere <laughs> just got violently ill. <laughs> Fucking damn it. It's okay. Many of people have become healthy. They know your love for the Lord, so they can, they're fine now. <laughs> huh, funny enough, I, that actual lens is being called the iPhone 11's giant dong filter. Uh, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a fitting name, I'm it's sure. Very fitting. I mean, like, look at that shit. That shit's huge. God damn. Right. It's like, huh, maybe, maybe those spam ads aren't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> How to grow your dick with one weird trick. Step one, buy an iPhone. Oh my God. <laughs> those ones are always, those ads always make me laugh because like there was one um there was one that i saw like fucking forever ago because fucking bored and reddit and it was just like hey three weird tips and it's just like a dude's literally just just fucking sticking a finger in his ass and i'm like how the <laughs> fuck is this <laughs> 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 I'm just like, sure, man. Yeah, everyone, just take a finger in your ass, and you'll grow five inches in a month. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. How to how to get a girlfriend? Step one: wake up at six a.m. That's prime bitch getting time. Step two: shove an entire <laughs> fist up your ass. <laughs> uh, that's prime bitch getting time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do you it's... have to do it in a, do you have to do it in the park? Is it like one of those mating dance things for birds or do you just is that like a pre-game kind of thing? No nah, man, it's like it's like pre-game. It's so you can get your mindset. You know, it's like how all everyone who is successful wakes up at 6 a.m. specifically. <laughs> 6 a.m. specifically to get a fist in their ass. Yeah. You get it. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. That it's was, okay. Ow. Are you dying? A little bit. But you know, it's all good. I can go peacefully. Go gentle into that good night, Nar. You've had a good run. Uh, it's, just, it's like, Angel, I don't feel good. <laughs> Angel, I don't, I don't feel good. You've had a good run. It's been a good life. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll be good. You know, do you, do you want to take a long walk out in the woods? It's okay, I'll look after, I'll look after your cat. It's fine. <laughs> I'll look after your cat. I'll take your PC and monitor. What? Nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, God. I can feel that streaming PC coming. My way. I mean, I mean <laughs> my poor friend. <laughs> my poor friend. Oh, whatever will you do? <laughs> God, I don't even think you'd really be able to get anything out of this. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it's got parts. It's like it's got parts Honestly, you just have one huge unprotected thing and this just there'll just be a whole bunch of shit just <laughs> honestly like i i don't know if, if i get a second if i get a second pc like it kind of depends on um like what the specs are because you need significantly uh less less uh expensive hardware to do like successfully stream you know but like for running a game at like 1440 max settings you need better hardware uh, i see yeah besides i'm not even i'm not even sure how to do like dual stream dual pc stream setups that that like goes way over my head right now oh yeah that's fair because that doesn't sound it doesn't sound like an easy process uh it can be pretty challenging it can be pretty challenging like most computer things. <laughs> Fucking, by the way, speaking of challenging. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, but Elden Ring. <laughs> ah, yes. Elden Ring, Elden, okay. So, I've I've finally gotten to the point where I've seen pretty much most of the bosses. And now, in the late game, most of them are duo and trio fights. And it is ass. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so like at at this point I've been trying to I've been trying to go to the game with like, you know, 
uh non-broken builds like i've been trying not to use bleed weapons i've been trying not to use too much magic i've been trying not to use the ashes of war too much and really give myself a challenge but like seeing like two of the most pain in the ass unbalanced bosses together fighting me i just i, I fuck it i've already beaten you individually i don't want to do this again i'm i'm, I'm at the point where i'm just summoning left and right like you get a summon you get a summon you get a summon just help me get through this last bit of gameplay please <laughs> yeah that's i mean that's fucking fair because um what the hell was it like like even early game because i haven't i still haven't made too terribly much progress since we last talked about it. <laughs> um but that one boss in the cave in the one cave like very early on in the game those fucking that demi human shit oh yeah oh, yeah yeah that one i was just like hmm i seem to be struggling with this so i just summoned whatever npc was over there because i apparently started my game in offline mode and i couldn't figure out why it wasn't why it was broken <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I've at least tried, and I'm just like, you know what? It's fine. I'll just I'll summon some NPCs or people, whoever comes up first. It's okay. Yeah. I'll like, get it on the next go around. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, definitely in my next playthrough, I um, actually, I I'm not gonna lie. For for new game plus, I've been thinking about doing like um a viewer run. So like um, I'll just summon. Whoever I can find for, like, the legacy dungeons, like Stormvale Castle or any of the forts or anything like that. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yeah, it should, awesome. be, yeah it should be pretty fun, you know? But just for, like, the first... Like, when I say summon, I, I mean, I've been, like, using the ashes a lot because I still don't fuck with... <laughs> I still don't fuck with giving the boss 50% more HP only to have my summon die like five seconds into the fight. Yeah, that's yeah, that's understandable because honestly, the ashes are also just... I kind of just like the ashes more for at least... I kind of just like the idea of the ashes. There we go. Because it's... Oh, I don't know. I just like using it. I just need to find their fucking upgrade materials. That's the only thing I can't do for some reason. Oh, God. Yeah, that's... That's probably the only reason why I still go into dungeons at this point is just because I want those uh glove warts, you know. Oh yeah. I just like uh, I wonder if they hmm I wonder if you could just like teleport in, teleport out and go back and then just if they if the glove warts come back and then you just repeat. <laughs> No, sadly, but you do Damn it. you do get bell bearings that um allow you to purchase them at the round table. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. That's good. Yeah. And it's... Oh, God, that's been such a lifesaver. But also, it's been pissing <laughs> because for the longest time, I've had access to, like, Smithing Stone Tier 8, Tier 9, and then I'm missing, like, Tier 2 and 3. So, like, oh. I, I was able to upgrade one like set of things really far and then everything else i wanted to try was stuck at like plus three because i fucked up <laughs> oh god that sounds like ass kind of yeah overall i really i really do like the the direction that from software went with elden ring for like the you know <clears throat> making it more accessible and everything Oh yeah, like so far from like so far everything that I've done so far like it's completely it's it's so fun. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's it's only it's as easy or as hard as you want it to be cuz summoning still kind of breaks the boss's AI a bit. So Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. But I do love the um, it took me forever to uh figure it out, but I do like the I do like the um, the thing they did with the what is it called the ashes of war where you can either choose to like change how the scaling of the weapon you're putting it on is or just leave it the way it is i do oh, like that though god yeah that's that has been a godsend because it was pretty annoying to farm gems in dark souls 3 you know mm -hmm. and then you had to have multiples of the same weapon so you had to go and farm for that weapon you know yeah, because they don't, because Dark Souls doesn't give you your gem back when you change out the fucking infusion. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's it's definitely <clears throat> been 
that that definitely has felt like a more streamlined process uh weapon upgrades and you know customizing your build and i really oh i love that shit so much thank you they just they just they just they did so much good with this game the yeah. mm. it's not really, really fisted it really gave it a good did a good yeah it's not like perfect by any means like don't get me it's it's not like i think um I think their their other games are a lot tighter of an experience, you know, because because like with the oh, yeah. ashes with the ashes of war, I'm sure like there's a two part reason why they did it the way they did it, like um you know not only to give you more flexibility in swapping between builds and all that, but also because like they had to pad out the open world, like um like. A good example, actually, there's a there's a Zuli the Witch video that kind of goes into this, oh. and um, it's kind of about how like Breath of the Wild, um, had the weapon integrity, weapon durability thing. Mm. Yeah, to you know, actually force you to go and get other weapons and explore the world, and then the way that Elden Ring handled that is they hid weapon arts and shit in chests so it still feels kind of less of a pain in the ass like you don't have to swap through like five swords just to beat one enemy you you know it's oh, actually yeah. yeah it's this video right here. uh why breath of the wild's weapons are bad Bam. on purpose it's pretty good mm. yeah i might actually watch that because that actually that actually would be really interesting to actually like to look into and i've I've been wanting to play Breath of the Wild again and actually finish it, you know, since I kind of ditched it halfway, but <laughs> I've never gotten to it. Same. I I only played enough to, um, like, understand the mechanics and some of the design choices. And I think mm. it's a great game, but I just, I don't know. There hasn't been a Zelda <laughs> game that's really captured me in a long time. Yeah, because, like, for me, it's really only been... Uh... Maybe, maybe like the first two on like the the NES, but definitely Wind Waker was probably the only one. Oh. Even though I'm not actually sure if I finished that one either. Total honesty. Oh, Wind Waker. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> damn, that is some nostalgia oh porn. Hold on, fuck off, photo Photopy. Photopy. Yeah, I want to, it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, I need to check the Switch if they have Wind Waker on it. I don't know, because the only one that I know that they have it on is the fucking Wii U. I don't oh. know if I can find it on the computer somewhere, but well, I doubt that greatly for right now. I mean, shit, dog, if you want to borrow my GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, but God. For real, when, <laughs> Wind Waker was the shit. I think... I think uh, that did did Twilight Princess come out after Wind Waker? Because I think Twilight Princess was like truly the the last Zelda game that I got really really into. Yeah, I th think it did because it wasn't Twilight Princess on the um wasn't Twilight Princess on the Wii. Yeah, it was it was on the Wii and on the GameCube. I remember because oh. I didn't have a Wii because I was uh, El Poor. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. Hmm. I know uh, Wind Waker was came out on the GameCube. I didn't realize Twilight Princess was also on the GameCube. I thought that one was a uh, was released after the Wii was. Oh no, it it was it. Yeah, they did it. Um, oh. yeah, they did it for both the Wii and for GameCube because the Wii was still pretty pretty new. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Then I think in the, then I, yeah I think in that case Wind Waker came first. Okay. So yeah, what Wind Waker. Twilight Princess. I definitely played the hell out of Oracle of Seasons and Ages on the Game Boy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. I was always interested in some of the Game Boy ones, but I never I never actively got into um buying games for that one because I always spent it on either like Xbox and PlayStation shit or other dumb things. <laughs> Bro, remind me, I will lend you my Game Boy, and I will let you play both of those, because I have them. <laughs> I mean, shit, alright, fair enough. Like, fucking I wonder, bet. I, I, wonder if I, even, I wonder if I took mine when I left my parents' house. Mm. I hope you did. <laughs>
I know I still have like the clear. I know I have the like clear purpley like Game Boy Color. Hmm. Like, I don't know. I wonder if that still works. I should put batteries in it see if it turns on. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. The only problem is I don't have any game cartridges for it. <laughs> you know, I, I, I gotta say, I, I think, um, I think between the two, like between there's, there's a few open world games like that are that are kind of modern that um i think kind of did open world pretty well you know horizon zero dawn did it all right they had a few interesting concepts but it was still very like it still very much had like the the ubisoft formula um but yeah legend of zelda um the new open world one that i the name is suddenly fleeing from my memory now Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. There we go. Yeah, like Breath of the Wild, Elden Ring, um, Metro Exodus. I think all three of those have done it very well. But I, I just, I just feel like the Dark Souls formula shoved into like the open world experience. Just, I don't know. It just, it feels like the game, like the focus of the game, is just not as tight, and it's a little less, um, less satisfactory. You know. Yeah, I can definitely see that because it's definitely they're um they're what how uh, what's the word how they like guide you like their guiding hand or whatever the fuck it's called is definitely a lot looser because it's like you can you can just straight up go through the story as is at whatever level you are that's fine but you're gonna you're gonna shit bricks. <laughs> because yeah. i'm like you it's basically like if you want an easier time you kind of have to just go run around explore farm some things get better gear and resources because you're definitely not going to get too much just going straight through the storyline oh yeah like i think i think um margit the like first <laughs> actual tutorial boss i think his recommended uh rune level is legit like 40 or something so margit that's the that's the gold hammer knife dude no he's uh the i'm still trying to remember the name <laughs> margit is the uh the goat dude that kicks your ass before you get to storm vale goat dude give up these ambitions foul tarnished Hold on. He's a goat. <laughs> he kind of because he's got he's like a goat. He's actually an omen, but like he's got goat horns everywhere. Hold on. Oh, the fell omen. Uh, cheese. Inch cheese. Cheese. Oh, that one. one. Okay, yeah. Light hammer. High light hammer dagger. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Which uh, by the way, I'm foul tarnished. Ah, oh, I love that voice acting. In this such guy does a good job. Of the Elden Ring. I see a lot of people doing a good job with this. Like, I, haven't met, I don't think I've come across anyone that I haven't ambition. liked the voice acting for too much. Oh, fuck yeah. It's been, <clears throat> like, that, that's one thing that always gets me about From Software is the voice acting is always incredibly on point. Oh, yeah, and they oh, they just, they have, they have, they pick good people. Not to mention, a lot of the music for boss fights so far, like, none of them really seem out of place. Like every all the boss music so far that I've heard <laughs> seem to like match them pretty well. Yeah, yeah, that's um, yeah, their scoring has been <clears throat> really solid throughout all the games too. Speaking of, I uh, realized something uh mm -hmm. while playing earlier. Mm -hmm. So the um, have have you heard any of the merchants like playing their little loot violin thing? Uh, not yet. No. Okay, I I want you to listen to that when you hear them playing, and I want you to think about other from soft music. Huh? Do you do you want me to spoil it okay. for you, or do you want me to just let you figure it out? I'm so curious. I kind of want to know, but at the same time, I want to I want to attempt to try and figure it out first. It's okay. like, damn it. <laughs> I'll give you I'll give you a hint then. The the music that the merchants play is very, very similar to a boss's music in one of the earlier Soulsborne games. Hmm. Like a really prominent boss. Ah oh, shit. Oh god, alright. 
Cool. Yeah. All right, I'm on a hunt next time I'm on. Wham. Wham. <laughs> I just hear you smacking your cat's ass over here. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what that sound is. She was asking for it. She just, like, looked at me and then just spun her butt around. I'm like, all right. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. She's such a weirdo. Oh, God. Sorry. <clears throat> Since we're on Elden Ring, there's, a, there's another thing. There is another... Oh. I I swear to God, Elden Ring has a more has it has a bigger piece of shit than Pontiff Sullivan in it. <laughs> like you remember the lore for Pontiff, right? Yes. Yeah, basically turned a whole bunch of people into monsters and usurped control of like um, not Ariandel. What is it? Uh, Londo. I know Londo. Yeah. E. The new, the new old, the new old Londo. The new old Londo of Anor, but also the Londo of Nor of Ron Rona. Rona. Oh, Rona. 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 No. Oh God. <laughs> Anor backwards is Rona. They knew. Bromsoft knew. <laughs> oh my God. But, uh, you fucking see the future. We gotta, we gotta pay attention to more of their games, man. These lore people need to step it up a little bit, right? Like, come on, Vati. <laughs> Jesus. Gonna, we need. They're gonna start needing historians on their teams. Historians, the like hardcore like alien, uh, alien researchers. God, flat earthers. <laughs> flat earthers, round earthers, cube earthers, all of it. Need a couple of fat ass bitches up in there just to give their experience. Yeah, exactly. They they just they ah uh, they need one of everything. They need oh a gosh. Chad. They need a Dilk. They need Dilk. They need to just combine it all. A fat ass Chad historian. Like the criteria <laughs> is, you must have a master's in history. You must be the alphaist alpha, and you can't be able to click your seatbelt on the first try because that ass is so fat. Those are the criteria. <laughs> It's like if yo ass thinner than a cakey, you out. And let me I need someone who's got an ass big enough that it makes it hard for them to just exist. <laughs> oh my god. If you got a thick ass, is sitting funny, does walking hurt your ass? Just just ass. Can you lay flat on your back? <laughs> yes, then I don't want you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can lie on my back, leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, does it look like you have a Victorian bustle on? Yes, then I want you. <laughs> but is that what it's called? Bustle? Oh, Victorian bustle. Victorian bustle. Yeah, the little little poofy ass thing. That's what those are called. Okay. Yeah. You know, I... I've never actually understood... Um, why that became like a fashion thing i've never understood it i don't know man uh because what the fuck is that people are sorry weird. the shopping on the this is very left one on that shopping bar up top oh my god <laughs> <laughs> uh that's cool though it's a pad you don't have to wear a whole hoop skirt for it yeah that's huh all right yeah that's pretty cool yeah I, I it guess looked, it just looked really strange from a distance. Yeah. Thank you, Lady Jane's clothing. Yes, Lady Jane's clothing. You are a lifesaver for me and all my fellows who need the fattest of ass. Hey, the fattest of ass. Uh, but yeah, I don't I don't know. Maybe they just uh in Victorian England really enjoyed ass. Um more than anything else, more than ankles or more than legs. More than face, they just enjoyed a a nice rump. Yep, look at that. Even in the olden days, a sophisticated man enjoyed a good ass, a thick ass, a thick ass. Um, God, I don't even remember what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> yeah, what? How did we stumble on this? Hold on. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Um, but we're talking about ass now, I guess. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Well, that's cool. Huh. Huh, I don't remember that. Anyway. 
Uh, but yeah, Isn't that we, like a what? I remember now. We were talking about piece of shit characters. Ah, yes. I want you. I want you to imagine if we suddenly discovered that heaven was a real place and we had empirical proof of it. Okay. Hmm. And then I want you to imagine that everyone that followed this church that believed in heaven were complete assholes to people who weren't perfect. Okay? <laughs> Come along this dude who basically has the goal of taking down this church that believes in this heaven by... Defiling corpses, which I defile is uh, the nice way of putting it. Um, he basically, yep. yeah, <laughs> defiling corpses <clears throat> to keep them from getting into heaven and to curse their entire family line from getting into heaven. Mm. <laughs> huh. And that's a, that's essentially his whole character is just trying to take down this church. By literally fucking the corpses of all of its members. I mean... Hmm. That's... What? What? <laughs> this what? I'm, I'm fairly certain that George R.R. R. Martin was the one that personally wrote this character. I... Hmm. <laughs> Who the fuck is who the fuck did this? <laughs> uh the loathsome dung eater. Oh. <laughs> okay. He's just a just a really creepy ass character, and I only recently started diving into his lore and holy shit. Oh, I I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> I mean you get cool stuff from his quest line, but you feel really dirty after. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do his quest line now after after hearing that. Well, that's fair. <laughs> but sorry, I just like, I, I don't had need to feel dirty. <laughs> I just had to bring this shit up because it is like t I love villains. <clears throat> I love them so much, but it's just so titillating <laughs> to me how absolutely disgusting and captivating this dude is. <clears> hmm. <throat> God damn it. Stop making me curious about shit, you ass. <laughs> it's it's a podcast, and I'm not funny. What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> not send me, not fucking send me into fits of curious curiosities that might scar me later on. Uh, you're welcome. I just I really have to tickle your curious bulge, man. God, what? No. Oh, hmm. it, it, take it back. Take it back. <laughs> Please take it back. <laughs> <laughs> don't tickle nothing please tell natalie i'm sorry i didn't mean it <laughs> i think she's just she'll just be like oh uh, yeah no i didn't know you were like this i'm out all right <laughs> <laughs> all right lates i'm taking your cat with me i mean, probably she's just like you don't need to see this <laughs> you don't need to see this let's go uh god oh. i I do kind of I'm not gonna lie every time Natalie visits you I get really excited about seeing um uh Dorito oh seeing yeah uh, Despacito her, her beagle he's, he's such a good boy he is such a good boy he's kind of stupid but he's such a good boy <laughs> I mean he yeah he's a beagle they're gonna be dumb yeah that's yeah that's fair it's I not just, his uh, fault. I just I do I feel so bad that he full on just jumped into our pond out into the pond out front. That still surprised me 
so <laughs> it, it took me back man it, it took it like i didn't understand what was happening at first you just come in you're like i need a towel right now Dur <laughs> Durano just jumped in the pond what do you mean he jumped in the pond he just jumped in the pond and it's like just for context it is it is like a three foot by two foot small ass strip of a pond just big enough for a fucking beagle to fit into and he fit into it <laughs> yep. He came in was dude, there was just a layer of snow on top, so he's like, Yippee! And he just jumped <laughs> in the fucking pond. And dude comes out, his white fur is partially fucking green. Green? No. It was winter, so it would have been brown. So it was he it was more he was browner than he was initially. And it's just like, well, the car's gonna probably smell bad on the ride home. <laughs> God damn, that was amazing. I felt bad for Natalie, but it was amazing. Yeah, we got him. We got him most of the way dry, and he was just—he was shivering pretty much that whole time. It's like, well, that's kind of what happens when you deviate from the past, my dude. <laughs> yeah. He learned. I hope it was worth it. I—I I really hope it was for his for his poor little doggy heart. Yep, yeah, he just—he had his fun, and now he was scarred. <clears throat> oh God! By the way, uh, happy Cinco de Mayo. Oh, yes. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I feel really bad for anyone working in Mexican restaurants today. Oh. Is it just gonna, is it gonna be busy, or is it just the fact that it's Cinco de Mayo? I mean, it's, it's Cinco de Mayo. It's gonna be filled with a bunch of people of the fairer skin variety. Uh, <laughs> the fairer skin. <laughs> only, it's, uh, only white people celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Let's be honest. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's kind of fair. <laughs> oh god, what even the fuck is? Hold on, what? Even is Cinco de Mayo? I will. My history brain is shitting out on me. I will let you do your own research on that. Much yep, like, fair. much like everyone else, because while I do not celebrate it, you must do your own looking into it. This is called creating interest and intrigue. A interest, interest, what interest of entry? What? Interest, interest of the end tree. Ah, okay. I Maybe don't know I'm what that me. means. Figure it out. Trees. trees. I like trees. Oh, and uh, happy, oh. happy belated May the 4th to you. Ah, yes. Happy May the 4th. Yes. Wait. Star Wars. I actually didn't do anything Star Wars yesterday. I'm a little disappointed in myself. Ah, uh, it's okay, but... <laughs> It's okay. I didn't either. I was had the, I was looking for my Narwhal shirt so that I could wear it to work the other day. Um, and it was, it was funny because Becky didn't even realize it until like ten. <laughs> wow! Oh wow! She is like one of the biggest nerds I know. I'm so surprised. Yeah, because I was. I told her I was just like I'm kind of sad that I couldn't find my Narwhal shirt. And she's like, oh, well, that sucks. Hopefully, you'll find it soon because it's a good shirt. And like, yeah. It just would have been perfect to wear today, and it was just like nothing. And then, like, just like after a while, he was like, "I just realized it's May the Fourth. Your sadness about your narwhal shirt finally makes sense." <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. Um. God, what else were we gonna? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're we're gonna talk about. Uh. Did you ever get a chance to look up Morbius? Morbius. No, I did not. I completely, I didn't. I completely forgot about that one. No, it's okay. It was a uh, part of the Jared Leto kind of thing. So, ah, yeah. In that case, no, I did not. <laughs> no, I definitely did not. There we go. That's okay. I just, I just wanted, like, I love how shit on Morbius has become. Like, it, it's, it's. From what I can tell, it's not a good movie, and it's become the butt of like a bunch of memes. Oh, what the fuck! What even? What even is Morbius? So it's a Marvel movie about a vampire, and Jared Leto plays the vampire. Which Jared Leto is the same dude that played, yeah, that played um the Suicide Squad Joker. Ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and um, I don't know if I told you about all of the shit that he did while... So, he tried to take, like, a method acting approach to it, which is fine, you know, it worked out for Heath Ledger, but what Jared Leto did was 
he didn't interact with any of the other cast except for <laughs> except for like when they were doing scenes together and he did shit like had a goon of the jokers uh walk into like a boardroom just full of the actors talking and plop a whole dead pig on the table uh he also sent them packages that were uh had had uh rats in them uh and mm. used condoms among other things because he was oh. trying to, he was trying to get into like the mindset of the joker but really you're just kind of being a creepy asshole yeah like that hmm. that's not okay like i what the fuck <laughs> I don't I don't think you'd have to I think if you just like put all that shit in a box and like p pretended like you were going to mail it out to everybody else I think that would be enough like having that thought process would be good enough like don't don't make them hate you don't actually do the stupid shit <laughs> right like oh like, my god like I like I don't know man like I feel like even for like trying to be in your care like in your character as long as you possibly can be even like not on scene like i don't know i think just doing that kind of thing doesn't even really wouldn't it shouldn't fill you with a sense of gratitude or anything like that like i'm sorry but if i tried to if i tried to get into a villain role and i'm doing that kind of shit i just look at what's happening and i'd, I'd do nothing but feel bad <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. Like there there's there's definitely a point where there's method acting and then there really is just being an asshole. <laughs> yeah, like I'm like a dead pig. Come on. Like maybe if he just like slammed a ham on the table, sure, but a whole ass dead pig. Fucking come on. <laughs> yeah. Uh moreover, honestly, like I oh, by the way, this this picture really sums up how I feel about the movie i really want to watch morbius because i know if i oh i really don't want to watch morbius because i know if i do i won't enjoy these memes anymore <laughs> oh my god but yeah um i really the 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 hate for this movie <laughs> has really been interesting for me because of like the decline of marvel movies in general Hmm. Like I, I have no opinion because I haven't watched Marvel movies in quite some time. <laughs> no, that's fair, but you you remember <laughs> like they were super goddamn popular and they were coming out all the time. Oh yeah, and they like a lot of shit had happened, and it's like I feel like a lot of the really insane stuff that captured most people's attention is probably done with now. Yeah, and everything is. I think it's like, oh, it's like the filler episodes in anime. <laughs> exactly. Like, they're, you know, they already did all of the important stuff. And after Endgame, like, no one gives a shit anymore. Like, I didn't even know that Morbius was uh, a Marvel hero villain thing. I, I completely escaped my mind. Who who the fuck are you? And they're, yeah, they're just... I... Go ahead, what? No, go ahead. And, and, and like, they're just kind of... You know, pushing out all these movies at breakneck speed for like a bunch of minor characters, like a uh, Moon Knight, Moon Knight. That's another one. I have, I have no idea what the fuck Moon Knight is. I've never heard of them. Oh, oh yeah, I saw that, and I was just like, who the fuck is Moon Knight? <laughs> yeah. The only thing I've ever, yeah, like the only thing I've ever heard of heard of from Moon Knight was uh that one game grump skip where they were fucking like making up curse words and dan just started listing off marvel characters <laughs> <laughs> like literally just like no oh, moon knight <laughs> i'm just like who the fuck's moon knight i fucking love that <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah I, I feel like morbius is the true like signifier for the fact that superhero movies are just becoming a tired cash cow now you know yeah like i kind of i kind of had a feeling that like a lot of the like a good chunk of like filler movies that ended up being like obviously since i don't really watch them or care after a certain like if i just see that a lot of people are shitting on it i'm like hmm well, this isn't a good sign. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, everything's going to start going downhill from here, and uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, it's... I mean, it's good, though. It's good. Like, they were... It took, like, no effort to produce and make superhero movies anyway. Like, all of the lore was already set out for you. You pretty much had all of, like, the story done. You just had to actually, like, shoot it and find actors. Oh, uh, and try to, um... And try to stay as close to canon as possible. Yeah. Like, it's really, it's really hard to, like, actually fuck it up, you know? And you already have a built-in fan base of, like, a bunch of nerds who know the characters, so. Oh, yeah, so it's like, it's, it literally should be, there should, there should be, like, absolutely no problems whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, because it's easy you get lazy about it yeah and then you cut corner and you're like ah no one's gonna notice this minor detail yep and then oh, you get boy, shit oh boy yeah and then you get shit like like this movie starring jared leto who i just saw this actually a uh, worst dc movie and marvel movie character <laughs> 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 that's the capstone to your career jared leto good job Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's how you get shit like uh like Morbussy. Um, you know, getting shit on. <laughs> Morbussy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I don't I don't Some of that like the like some of that like a bussy stuff like all that that bussy shit like some of it's funny but I I also hate it at the same time. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. I fucking, I fucking know you do. <laughs> I fucking love. It. I can't go I can't watch any of my friends' streams without referencing Fortnussy or Amongussy or Falerussy. <laughs> oh my god. If you really want to get more into the movie without actually watching it, uh, Eddie Burback, yeah, has a has a video about him seeing Morbius five days in a row. That's actually just fucking beautiful. I recommend it. Holy shit. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into that because I'm not going to lie. Like, I I got so lost on that 60-second one. Like, what? <laughs> like, I, I got lost. There's a I lot. <laughs> <laughs> I backtracked long enough to be like, wait, what did he... Okay, I got that. What the fuck did I miss? <laughs> you know, from what I understand, the movie just moves at that pace anyway, so... Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh god damn. Yeah, just I also love of... those I also love those horrible those horrible life hack things. Like what the fuck? <laughs> They're the fucking worst. They're the act it's watching those gives me an aneurysm. But <laughs> but not as bad as like watching uh shitty food porn or something or like TikTok food hacks. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's fair. When it, I don't know. <sighs> hacks in general just make me like slightly uneasy because half of them either don't work or they're just full blown stupid. Right? Like and will probably kill you. Actually fucking danger like I swear to god, I watched some bitch clean her her chicken breasts, her raw ass chicken breast with Dawn dish soap. Yeah, cuz that's a great fucking idea. My favorite one is I saw one where someone like melted i think it was melted down aluminum <laughs> yeah like they had like the like modeling not not modeling clay but like the sand and shit that like yeah. you push something in and it would leave a hollow mold yeah yeah someone like did one of those but they poured molten aluminum into it and jammed their fucking usb part of their phone charger into it and just let it harden it was like boom look at that life hack for an easier wall outlet to charge your phone it's like ex what <laughs> What? Oh yeah, and it's what? just like yeah, that's a great was a great way to fucking speed run your death. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> that's, that's a very creative way to meet God. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's just like, Jesus! Fuck it, eh? Like, come on, guys, no. Like it just it just makes my brain hurt, and it makes me immediately need a nap. Yeah, you're just like, oh, oh god, oh the migraine setting in. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> did I 
Did I also develop sleep apnea from how bad they were? Yep. <laughs> it just, it just, it just hit, it hit the eyes and it just went straight through with such like, uh, with such like speed firing your neurons. It just decked you in your lobe. Oh yeah. So sort of like how, uh, how you, how I drink alcohol. Like you just, you go straight through the eyes into the brain. Hell yeah. Speed line. Let's go. Speed line. <laughs> Woo. Oh God. But yeah. yeah. You know, like when a smell, like when a cat shits in a litter box, you know, the smell just hits you so hard. You're just like, ooh, I felt that in the back of my throat. Actually, I understand that a lot. Yeah, like Athena's got some stanky fucking shits. God, yeah, she does. She always waits, too. Like, she's on a really regular fucking insidious schedule. She will hold (laughs) her shit until just before bed and just after we wake up. Like, <laughs> right when we have to spend the most amount of time in that room. <laughs> it's fucked up, man. Oh, my God. Oh, your cat's got fucking... Your cat's just... Your cat's just evil, man. She's just... She is a diabolical fucking witch. <laughs> she is just... Ooh-wee! Dad and Mom are coming to bed. Hey, guys, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ooh, I better make, I better make sure I use the bathroom before I go to bed. I wouldn't want any accidents in the middle of the night. <laughs> just sitting on my chest, staring at me as I sleep, just thinking I could shit in this bed right now, <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to picture like just like waking up from. Like if you like if you guys were to, like we're still in this house anyway, mm-hmm. like just waking up in the middle of the night to you screaming at Athena for just straight up shitting on your chest. <laughs> well, it's not like I don't deserve it, but that come on, no, I don't want that. I don't want that in my life. <laughs> I know you don't, but I'm just trying to like I'm just picturing I'm just picturing it from just like all the way across the house because I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes when shit happens and you're like screaming at stuff, you. Uh, you do. You sound really funny sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's I. I'm sure I do. It's okay. I've accepted that. Like just the way you scream, like the way you scream certain words, and the words that you scream as well during these situations are fucking hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I wanna. I wanna see if I can reenact this for our our beautiful podcast. Let me let me turn off my noise suppression. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> I will be. Uh, just a second. <clears throat> oh, suck the fattest part of my ass. Shit twice and die, you cockbird. I bet your mom doesn't love you. <laughs> Okay, oh I think, my god! <laughs> all right, I think that came across pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically what it's like living with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the fucking that's the good shit. <laughs> that's, that's the good shit from deep down in the hate sack of the body. Yep, that's the blood level one run shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Mother. Fuck, I couldn't... I still haven't even finished my Blood Level 4 run on Bloodborne. I mean, that's fucking fair. Like, I mean, like, shit, like... I can, like, I can see Dark Souls getting finished, because at least with that one, you can... It, I feel like you have a wider window of surviving rather than Bloodborne. Yeah. Yeah, Blood, I, I don't know, Bloodborne's man. Bloodborne's just angry. Bloodborne is just <laughs> angry. <laughs> that's a good way of putting it, yeah. Wow! Bloodborne's just angry. Sekiro is just a rhythm game. Oh yeah, that's right. And Dark Souls is just kind of Dark Souls. Yeah, you just memorize attack patterns, and boom, you're golden. Yeah, or, or you, you just... just get really good at parrying. Yeah, or you spam the dodge button. You know, just roll everywhere. It's fine. It's good. Yeah, with a really low equip load, you're just flying all over the place. <laughs> God, I. I'm not gonna lie, that's that's my tactic for like every Dark Souls game, and I'm so sad that that doesn't work in Elden Ring. Oh. Because <laughs> like all the attacks are super delayed, so it just doesn't work. 
Yeah, like I feel like I feel like they specifically programmed it to like the speed mm-hmm. of which you like so you're spamming the circle button. I swear they're just like, all right, and everyone's attacks is gonna be like one and three quarters of a roll. So <laughs> you'll be able to get like like almost two rolls out, but it'll catch you like right at the end of iframe. So you just like shit. I mean, shit. Not to mention the input reading, though. Like, oh god, you cannot tell me that most of the bosses uh don't have input reading because they totally do. They totally do. Yeah, like some of those, some of the instances that you get with those things, like there's no fucking way. Exactly. Again, which though, honestly, like, oops, go ahead. I was gonna say, which is kind of interesting because that means technically, if they do have like well, with input reading, they you would be able to juke out the bosses break some ankles i mean yeah technically you'd be able to <laughs> you know it's just it doesn't work out well whenever you try and uh try and roll nope not at all because they're just like ooh, let's just give ourselves a little bit of extra tracking mm-hmm. you know like one-handed black knight ultra great sword from you know charged r2 let's go oh man what's that a free ass oh boy <laughs> just like Yoink! Mmm, <laughs> 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 yoinkies, daddy like you. Nim, nimmy, ace. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. It's okay, we got there together. It's this fine. Is the, this is the kind of shit you bring out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's a bad thing. It's fine. I, I guess, I guess so. In in some cultures, yeah, yummy, yummy ass, num, 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 num is not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's, it can be a good thing. People are fine with it. Oops. There you we know, go. there's, there's one, one good thing, I think, to come out of Morbius. Hmm. Aside from the memes, like... Now, in any vampire movie, I'm not going to be able to see someone getting their blood sucked without thinking, get Morbius. <laughs> you know, that's... Yeah, that's fair. I mean, shit. I can... Yeah, I can see that. Like, every time I see vampire slayers wearing older clothing, my brain just immediately kind of goes, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, the more bussy slayer. Hell yeah. Oh man, most uh, to imagine that crossover. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty sick actually. And you know what? Ain't no one going to kill the man on the 5. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 not that's so not American of you. Come on. How can you kill the man that's on the $5 bill? How dare you? Right? He could never tell a lie. Abraham motherfucking Lincoln, dog. Yeah, he was a good, he's a good man. All he's done was good his life. And what did he get? Shot in the theater and killed by a vampire. Unjustifiably. Both he got, reasons. He got shot in the dick. Shot, <laughs> shot. In the, oh my God. Wait, hold on. Actually. Oh my God. <laughs> instead of, instead of quoting Key and Peele, there's, there's something I want to, uh, what, what would it be? Uh, penis forearm. Ah, yeah, here we go. Uh, gonna... we'll, we'll do shorts. So that that is a hundred percent real. I found out about that last night. the 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 backstory is this dude had like a blood infection, and he almost lost his fingers and toes. Um, he ended up losing his dick, and so what they did was they surgically attached like some grafted skin and um kind of shaped it into a penis on his forearm, and he's had that for like six years now, like. It doesn't. It doesn't get hard. He doesn't pee from it because that would be stupid. Um, but he he has his dick on his forearm. I what? what? Like I think it's, what? I think it's really, I think it's fascinating. You know, I I think that kind of shows a really that exemplifies the interesting connection between people's uh sexuality uh and gender and their identities but also i don't think i could live with a dick on my forearm i no <laughs> like 
if I lose my dick, I lose my dick. That's it. It's not going somewhere else on me. Oh, same, same. Actually, no, <laughs> I, I have a plan, actually, if I lose my penis. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, oh. you know, hold on. Uh, Rotating. Just hold on. Hold on. Uh, Mario Kawaii 8. <laughs> Sign in to confirm yep, your age. In. God damn it. But yeah, like... Well. <laughs> Like the you know those like you know like sixteen speed like rotating drill dozing vibrators. Yeah, <laughs> I would I would want something like that, <laughs> or like straight up uh like one of those hibachi massage heads uh straight straight on my crotch. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, shit. All right. I'm just saying, why be, why go back to the analog when I could have the future? <laughs> you know, like, I'm a digital kind of man. I'm a digital dick. <laughs> just, just a digital dick looking for some analog ass, baby. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that yeah, would I... be that'd be my plan. Yeah, I think if I were to lose mine, like total honesty, I would. I would want, I would probably just like, uh, I would probably want mine turned and like turned into like one of those, um, like a, like a fighting stick kind of thing. What do they call it? Like an escrima <laughs> stick kind of style. Like turn it into like a self-defense beat stick. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like how you can turn bull penis into canes. So you, so you would want yours as a, as a personal bully stick. Yeah, pretty much. Just not one of the edible ones. Just one of those beating ones. Okay. Okay. You know, I can, I mean, shit dog. We both. We we both have worked in like pet food for a long time. We know that that shit can hurt. Oh yeah, like fucking like this like standard bully standard thickness bully sticks. Maybe maybe it might break depending on how hard you hit someone. Thick ones. Oh yeah, that'll definitely do some damage. Oh yeah, but like you... oh some of those brands with the super like the super jumbo ones. Holy shit, those fuckers are thick. They're like like the width of my palm basically. Right, like. Like a like a three foot just like single stretched out bully stick. Yeah, you get you get hit with that. It's gonna it's gonna hurt. It's like a little whip, but it breaks. Then you get into like the like two foot long like triple braided ones that were made from like the thickest chattest bulls that they had. Like that shit gets scary. Oh yeah, like it's God because like there's literally I know one guy that used to come into the store in Anacortes all the time. Um, and he had like an actual, like an actual walking cane made out of like one of those, uh, like a really prized bulls, like penis. Uh, and I'm just like, and it's like, God damn. <laughs> that's actually impressive. He had a whole ass walking stick one. Oh yeah. And it was, it wasn't, it was pretty like decent length. It was like pretty much the like normal cane length, like the length of a leg kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so, okay. so yeah, um, I, I got a picture pulled up right now. Bully sticks are dried bull pizzle and they are, uh, dog treats. Yeah. Oh, the natural dog company ones. Oh God. They are so fucking expensive right now. What bully sticks? Yeah. Fucking the one, like the 12 inch, like 12 inch super jumbo bully sticks. They're like really, they're really nice thicknesses. Like if you can like the, the very top right picture on the for the bully sticks the three in the size comparison yeah yeah so, so the super jumbo one is like maybe twice the thickness of the thick ones um holy and like shit it's, yeah and it's and like they're really they're really nice like nicely sized like they're really like a good sized bully stick for a lot of dogs but like good god a single 12 inch bully stick is like from the natural dog company people like they make really good shit but it's like 22 dollars. oh my god dude yeah and it because they recently had a they like they just had another price increase not too terribly long before this most recent one which happened i think like two days ago and it was already at, it was at like 18 something before that and i'm like oh oh no <laughs> let's let's see it's it's been like five years since i've worked with pet food or anything but like <laughs> but like i remember it being like ten dollars for like a thick 12 incher man that's like a that's a 
double price increase. That's insane. Oh, dude. Um, well, oh, if, if you want to hear about it, if you want to hear about a price increase, uh, they also have the they also have like the thick bully sticks in both twelve and six inch sizes uh, in a one pound package, where you would usually get <clears throat> like. I counted a couple bags. You av- averages is about like maybe fifteen for the six inches and like so maybe like eight to ten. Eight to ten in the twelve inches. Yeah. And they're like they're uh, I wanna say they just went up to like seventy eight, seventy eight ninety nine. Oh wow. And they and they were just at sixty six. Sixty six seventy nine. So that's like a that's like a that's a twelve almost a, that's over a little over a twelve dollar jump. Man, fucking inflation is hella it's hurting right amazing. now. Oh yeah, it's fucking fantastic. Just goddamn it's fucking. It's like oh man, everything is great. And of course, like you, of course, most stores can't really get everything they need, and people are. I think they're running out of patience. I can't tell. <laughs> Like I can't tell if a lady was upset that we couldn't that we can't get her food consistently, or if she was just upset at the fact that like everyone and every everyone everywhere is just running out of things. And I don't know if she was fully able to grasp like why that was happening. Because like I mean, I don't know. I'd like to think we have like plenty of resources in various places for things not to just consistently run out. But like, or at least for most materials anyway. Hmm. But like. Yeah, no, we're we're eating ass. Like, I think the last I heard is, well, I think the Honest Kitchen brand of food, the dehydrated boxes. Like, we haven't been able to get boxes for like about a month and a half now. Oh fuck! Wait, have other stores been able to? Uh, I have no idea. Like, not a lot of people have been having those boxes for a long while. Damn, dude. Like, I think the last I heard is they were having issues with specifically packaging and. Not the plastic bag portion of it, but the cardboard box portion of it, which is like, we're really having an issue with cardboard boxes, <laughs> like cardboard. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it is really <laughs> weird to see like what all has been like experiencing shortages. Like, you know, there's obviously been food shortages, and there was um, uh, processing shortages or processor shortages. Um, and silicon shortages and everything but like fucking cardboard holy shit yeah you'd, you'd think like cardboard wouldn't really be that much of an issue it's getting a little ridiculous now like first off just put it in a zip <laughs> put it in a ziploc bag slap the honest kitchen label over it i think i'll be fine with that yeah because like they put it in a they put it in a sealed plastic baggie before they like ship it out and everything yeah or before they put it in the box there we go so it's just like I'm sure it probably wouldn't be too hard to like, well, that's a lie. It actually would be very difficult, but to like have a second machine set up to make a thicker bag and you just send it out in that. But like, it can't be that hard, right? <laughs> you would think, but like, it's, it's just, it's just silly. What's, um, I don't know. Things just seem silly these days, you know, like it really is. It's like, it's just hard silly. to believe. Yeah. I don't know, weird weird times. I'm just glad that you're like, you know, doing all right. Oh yeah, I'm doing doing good. Oh, whoa, fuck, hang up, hi, shit, dumbass. Yeah, everything's doing good. <laughs> That's good, man. That's really good. Wham, 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 wham. I got wham. fat cat in my lap. Wham, fat cat in the lap. Fat cat. Oh. Oh. Fat cat. She's really slurping on her ass. To... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hold on. I I know, like I know, I did this last time for the unofficial first episode because I didn't save any of that shit. But like, community, uh. Fat and Yule D and D. I wonder if I can find it. See you. Cast shape change on Duquesne. <gasps> what shape do you choose for him? Fat. <laughs> 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 
it's just it just gets me man. <laughs> just the way it comes out just fast fast like i want to i want to i want to make this clear fat <laughs> fatness is not funny to me like i don't usually laugh at fat jokes or anything but just just this cast shape change on duquesne <gasps> what shape do you choose for him fat <laughs> just coming out of chevy fucking chase is golden it's just it's like the subject itself is not funny but the build-up and the delivery is what makes it funny <laughs> yeah like that that long artful pause yeah, just the just the speed of which it comes out, the way he says it, the wow, the weirdly sheer excitement in his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God, I like, I miss community. I do too. God, like, ah, uh, God damn, this is a good show. I, it needs its movie though, right? Like, I don't care how long it takes. I just I want it to have a movie. You know, like, fuck it, just. It doesn't even have to have Donald Glover in it if he decides that he doesn't want to come back to it. I would really prefer if he does, but he's like a, you know, A-list celebrity now. Oh, yeah, because it'd be... Oh, man, it'd be fucking... It'd be, it'd be fucking bumping. It'd be great. It'd be kicking ass. It'd be yeah. punching dicks. Man, it fucking would. Six seasons in a movie. Come on, we're still waiting, Dan Harmon. Yeah, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Get it all together. Come on, Dean, let's go. Dean, 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 Dean. Okay, Dean. Okay, Dean. Okay, Dean. Okay, Dean. Would you rather... Would you rather... Get slapped... By Barack Obama... Or Donald Glover? You cannot choose neither... One of them has to slap you full open palm on the cheek. Donald Glover. Really? Why? Because he would he would make a joke out of it and it'd be worth it. <laughs> oh god, you're right. Yeah, you're right. That'd be pretty pretty funny. I As much as I want to get smacked my as much as I want to get smacked by dad, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I um God it, it's kind of a hard toss up for me, because like I I feel like Donald Glover is also less ripped, actually, than Barack, because, like, Barack was weirdly ripped. Hmm. Yeah, that is true. You gotta... <laughs> he was hitting the gym daily as president. It's like, you gotta, you gotta stay ship. You gotta stay ship, 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 ship. Fuck. You stay in shape. Damn it. You good? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I think you did good. You're my little pog champ. <laughs> it's like you're gonna do great no he's not what was that american dad i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> beautiful it was probably so it was probably from somewhere all right so let's let's recap today's podcast uh god cinco cinco de mayo is the scourge of people working in restaurants arriba my n word arriba my my M words standing for Mexicans. Oh yeah, so let's let's recap. Let's recap what we've what we've covered on the podcast. Cinco de Mayo. We've covered history now, I guess. Uh, yeah, history. Margaret's bitch ass. Margaret's community. Bitch ass. Community. Uh Margaret and I we already said Margaret. Um Oh Dave Chappelle and Jamie Foxx are hard. <laughs> my God. Chris Rock is funny. Chris Rock is always going to be funny. We also covered uh, Morbius and the fall of superhero movies. Ah, uh, yes. The fall of superhero movies. They are slowly doing lines of cocaine. What? Doc Strange is like, yo, give me that white stone. That white gauntlet gem. <laughs> Instead of the... <laughs> God, instead of the Infinity Stones, it's the Crack Rocks. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, how much rock can I get for this gauntlet? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'm just imagining, like, Endgame being much different now. Fucking Thanos escaped to his planet, got rid of the gauntlet and the stones because he had to pawn them off for crack. Or space crack. <laughs> I don't know what that would be. Oh my god, base crack, like just, you just, they're just, you're just handed all the chemical components and it's like, all right, have fun, peace. What if they huh. just hand you a fucking salt block, a salt lick? Now, hold on, hold on, that could be a market. Like, um, like Easy Bake Drugs, you know? <laughs> like how there's an Easy Bake oven, you know, and you get like the little plastic <laughs> stupid trays and the sludge packets, so you just, Easy Bake Drugs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you just like, oh my god. Huh. There's an idea there. I gotta trademark that. No one steal that. Yeah, no one's just just cut it out. Just don't post it. <laughs> it's the only way to keep it safe. Uh you're right. It'll, it'll be like audio log for ideas. You'll have a hidden folder just in your in your computer somewhere. And it'll just be full of little like sound clips of these ideas. Oh god, that would that'd be scary. That'd be like delving into the deepest, shittiest reaches of my mind. <laughs> yeah, like, that's fucking fair. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Most of it would be like recorded at 4 a.m. after I like pound a coffee and take an edible. Pound coffee, take an edible, go smoke a little bit out on the back porch. Why not? You know, just it's like, all right, I got an idea. Idea 467. <laughs> Idea number 500. What if burritos were also mugs? Idea number 500. My mom. Idea number 650. What if Lizzie is actually a lizard? Lizzie's a lizard. Oh, God. That would honestly, it would honestly, like, fucking, that would change my view of the world entirely as a whole. (laughs) Wait, what if Lizzie was a lizard? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, same. Like, I. I don't necessarily think that, um, you know, the lizard people, the Anunnaki, are secretly controlling our shadow gov- government, but, ah. <laughs> oh boy, life would be so much more interesting if they were. Yeah, because then you guys would be, it'd be like, it would be this, like, the, it'd be a start of a fucking movie, it'd be a start of, a, like, a four-part series of how one mixed baby will change the world. <laughs> One mixed baby. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, what man. Name, what would you even name your child if you found out after it was after you found out it was going to be half lizard? Uh, like, what, what would, would I you name, name to Justin be? Like, would you pull something out of a fucking like out of the Skyrim cookbook or? I don't know. I I guess it depends. <laughs> I guess it depends on how sentient that child would be. Like, if it was more human than lizard, like, I I think I'd probably name them something normal, like uh, Carl or uh, Joe or Seth. Um, but if it was a lizard, it would totally be something stupid, like Sir Hissington IV. <laughs> Decimessius. <laughs> Decimessius. It was like, come, Decimessius. <laughs> His name is Duke Mariak Czech, Czech Theratrix. <laughs> the third. <laughs> the third. Or would it be the fourth? It'll be my child formerly known as... <laughs> formerly known as... No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would be get off the damn ceiling, you heathen. <laughs> Just like, come down from here. Stop licking your creepy ass eyeballs. Wash up, get ready for dinner. Blink like a normal child. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, what what did we say? You use your fork for food. Don't just use your tongue. <laughs> Don't just use your tongue. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's like, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> oh, God. Dealing with the shedding, like the molting would be disgusting. Oh, God. Especially if it gets stuck on the eye. <laughs> uh, That's going to be so gross. Uh... I already sometimes don't like watching the videos of people, like, having to assist shed their reptiles, but, like, ugh. Oh, that would... Thinking of it on the size of a human. <laughs> like, at one point, I kind of want to own a reptile, like, maybe a chameleon or a snake, but, yeah, de- helping them deal with the shedding, it would be so awful. Mm-hmm. 
Like, I just, I, mm, no, because, like, a snake, honestly, would be really interesting to have. Oh, I yeah. just, no, I'm going to, I would just, honestly, I would hate a lot of, I would hate a lot of it. <laughs> you know, that'd be a great way to get Natalie to come over more. <laughs> I mean, she wants us, she's going to get herself a snake in the future anyway. Oh, I know and she's I mean, going to. Yeah, because, I mean, I think, because the other reason she, I think the only reason she doesn't currently have a snake is because of, um... I don't know if she has the I don't know if she has the spoons to take care of another animal right now, but also because her grandparents doesn't want a snake in their house right now. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I mean, I don't I don't know what it is, man. Just bitches like snakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, snakes are just they're just they're neat. They're neat looking, especially if you get some of the fucking iridescent ones. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Like just a nice iridescent ball python or whatever the fuck they're called. Yeah, and they're and they're like have you ever just stopped and thought about snakes? Like it, they're such fucking silly things. They're they're literally tubes of meat. They are just one really long ass foot. Yeah, they with a stomach. <laughs> long ass foot with a stomach and pointy things. Exactly. Like the, what weird fucking creatures, man. Right, like the the sheer like the the one thing I always find so interesting is the sheer fact that when they eat, they have to stop breathing, and that's like, that's like, ah, uh, man, that's gotta fucking suck. Well, wait, dead ass. Yeah, they have to. Yeah, they can't. They can't. Um, can't exactly breathe too well while they're trying to swallow a, a helping of food. That that makes sense. I just I don't know. I never thought about it. You know. <laughs> yeah, cool. it's just like it's just so. Un it's just so unfortunate, you know? I'm going to catalog that in the information <laughs> section of my brain that I only access whenever it's inappropriate for me to present random facts. Hey, such, there we go. Such as, uh, did you know that Master Chief's suit yanks his meat? Yes, we have discussed this many times. <laughs> I'm glad we have. I'm glad we have. <laughs> It is still just the one thing that I'm just like, I mean, that's cool and all, but like, God, that's got to suck if you get it. If you have like one of those, like the sick kicks for like murder and shit, just mid battle, just your suits just yanking you like constantly. <laughs> well, see, that's, that's how they train them. That's how it's like Pavlovian, man. You, you go out. You uh violently gun down elite, an elite or a brute, and then you get your yank meat. Your meat yank, yanked, yanked, yanked. <laughs> you get your yank meated. You yank meated. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta you gotta meet that crank, man. Yeah, you gotta really make sure that that you gotta really make sure that weasel goes pop. You gotta dong the stroke. Uh yes, donging the stroke. Speaking of strokes, I think I'm having Ow. one right now. <laughs> in this fucking conversation yeah you know it's you know it's okay this is this makes us this makes us stronger in the end you know yeah it makes us stronger in the end we're still yeah. vertical we got this yeah this, <laughs> this is what's this is what it's all about you know yeah we survive we are kings we all be immune and they said her <laughs> well hold on hold on no wait i'll be a king but I remember specifically asking you what the gender neutral version of a king was, and you said it was baby daddy. How the fuck do you remember this? I don't remember that at all. <laughs> well, you see, I stored in the information section of my brain that I only access when it's inappropriate for me to bring up random facts. That's right. It's the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the little vault I'm going to use this against Norris later. <laughs> Like I, I shit you not. I, it's kind of a problem, and that is an actual center in my brain. Like sometimes mid argument with Lizzie, I will bring up the most random, inane bullshit, and it will not help me. It'll only make things worse for me. <laughs> You're just like the like the throw bone distraction tactic in an <laughs> argument. <laughs> essentially i think that's like what my lizard brain is trying to get me to do like deep in my fucking like amygdala or deep in like the the the, the cortex amygdala thing whatever the fuck it's called just my brain's like <laughs> quick throw out instruction random bullshit go 
yeah i mean it's just like it'll i mean it'll work so it works sometimes like you just you guess you just throw out that information it's like look i don't understand why that's such a problem i'm sorry that you don't want to fathom that uh, uh, just, uh barnacles have the largest penis to party body ratio it's not my fault <laughs> they're just what <laughs> Look, man, I'm sorry that Ewan McKellen has probably killed more people than he has, like, in real life than he has on film. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm sorry that makes you uncomfortable, but don't make, don't come at me with your nonsense. Right? Like, Jesus Christ, George Lopez has a four-inch dick. What, what about it? <laughs> it's I... Like it's like, that dude's forehead's bigger than his dick. Hey, don't look at me, for it. <laughs> <laughs> your forehead's bigger than your dick. <laughs> I'm using that. I'm using that. Also, I don't I don't know how big George Lopez's penis is. I'm sorry if anyone likes George Lopez. I happen to as well. But for right now, eat an ass. Right now, yeah, eat an ass. Eat an ass. Oh, candle. Alright, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here. I, I'm kinda hungry oh. and I want to go eat. Alright. Uh, thank you so much for listening to the first technical episode. Technically second, but technical first. But technically, you know. You know. Technically, we have them! Uh, Nerys, do you have anything that you would like to say? Beep, beep. Mm, beep, beep. Bitch. Bitch. Alright, see you, bro. Later. Oh, like, bro. Peace. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>